All right, here we go again. So if you're wondering about stimulus checks, about the uh, uh, coronavirus or what we call the COVID hell, and what the next four to six weeks looks like towards the end of 2020, potentially the beginning of 21, stay tuned. Um, I just wanna let you know, if you're looking at this video, watching this video, and you're looking for a website, ways to get your stimulus check, just wanna let you guys know, there is no new information about the stimulus check happening right now. There's no website for me to refer you to to get your stimulus check. So if that's what you're looking for, you know, this video is done, uh, over with, watch some other video. But if you want to know about the coronavirus thoughts I've been, I would have from a perspective and reaction of somebody that's making money in this country um, that's pivoting and adapting, adjusting, uh, stay tuned. So when you're looking at the coronavirus situation right now, according to this article, Dr. Michael Osterholm who's a newly appointed COVID-19 advisor to President-elect Joe Biden says, we're about to enter COVID hell. And he's advising that we shut down, lock down this country from, a, from, the, from the United States government, from the top, for four to six weeks. Think about that. Um, and he's saying that this can control the pandemic and revive the economy, okay? Uh, that we can borrow enough money to pay for a package that would cover lost income for individuals and governments during a shutdown. He says here that shutting down businesses and paying people for lost wages for 46 weeks could help keep the coronavirus pandemic in check and get the economy on track until a vaccine is approved and distributed. Now, with that being said, speaking of a coronavirus um, uh, 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 vaccine, uh, Pfizer and his company called BioNTech uh, stated earlier this week that they have a vaccine that's 90% effective in all the test cases and that early as by the end of the year they can administer i think approximately 25 million of this two dose vaccine to 25 million people of the 331 million people we have in america and so guys this whole vaccine even though one potentially may be released for you to access not like the movies where they finally found a vaccine and everybody in america is going is to get it right away it's not the case and uh I, by the way i i i could ima i couldn't imagine how the focus and attention is to mass producing this vaccine if it's really hurting america and really hurting people and businesses and really hurting people financially and health wise i couldn't imagine why that isn't a hundred percent focus of our country to get this vaccine processed and produced in mass for distribution i don't know why i i i don't know why i don't know it's not like the movies but i know why more attention isn't focused on getting that vaccine to more people to people that you and i love and care about uh furthermore which is i think was crazy in in my in my uh home state here in the city of chicago chicago mayor lightfoot advises a stay-at-home order, advises a stay-at-home uh, order beginning Monday, November 16th for 30 days. She says, cancel Thanksgiving. Whatever thoughts you have in terms of Thanksgiving, forget it, cancel it. Go home, stay home, and don't answer, interact with anybody uh, 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 in their house for 30 days. That's her stay-at-home advisory, okay? Uh, that The worst days are ahead of us. Okay, so that being said, let's go on the stimulus check here. Second stimulus checks. Where does President Joe Biden stand on $1,200 payments? This is a pretty interesting article here. It says, along with expanding COVID-19 testing, mounting a national emergency effort and funding state and local governments, part of his plan, part of President-elect Biden's plan, calls for emergency paid leave covering 100% of weekly salaries or average weekly earnings capped at $1,400 a week. Wow. Uh, plus, uh, the people that would be eligible for this would be sick workers, workers caring for family or loved ones, those with increased risk of health complications from COVID-19, domestic workers, caregivers, gig economy, and independent contractors, okay? Also, parents dealing with school closing would be eligible for paid leave, as well as care, uh, child care assistance. And as of late, Pelosi has pushed for 2.2 trillion relief package. They will provide a second round of $1,200 one-time stimulus checks to Americans, um, uh, payments that at one time had bipartisan support, including the backing of President Trump. Now, her proposal, has been, with, has been met with Republican resistance as McConnell eyes a much smaller targeted relief measure in the ballpark of 500 billion. Now check this out, I thought this was pretty interesting. So Kamala Harris uh, uh, pushed for a more aggressive relief measures uh, discussed in, con in Congress with Bernie Sanders, Ed Markey, and introduced the Monthly Economic Crisis Support Act legislation that will give monthly stimulus checks of $2,000 a month, including $2,000 per child with a limit of three children, for a maximum $10,000 per family per month. $10,000 checks per family per month. What? 
to qualify, individuals have to make less than $120,000. Wow, it's a whole lot of money for people to stay at home. It's a whole lot of money for a lot of people to be dished out 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, potentially $10,000 per month based on this potential passing of the Monthly Economic Crisis Support Act. Unbelievable. So here's my thoughts as I read all this stuff, okay? Uh, as an entrepreneur myself, as an entrepreneur now for the last 21 years, hire people, uh, create opportunities, and reinvest back into communities, uh, reinvest back into other businesses. My question is this, if the government is already introducing some form of UBI, which means they're giving you money on a monthly basis. Yes, they're probably trying to say, okay, this is through the stimulus check, but the stimulus check, but guess what happens when you get free money? People get used to it. You get used to it. And guess what? What is now the incentive for Americans to really get back to work? Like say you're a business and you need to hire people. You're hiring people at 15 bucks an hour in Florida, 15 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour, whatever, 25, 30 bucks an hour. What is the incentive for people to get back to work for your company if they're making more money from government checks? There's no incentive to work. Uh, uh, Robert Kiyosaki in a, in a podcast here on the Bet David show, he said here that this is now considered at the, after the electing president elect uh, 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 Joe Biden and what happened with the voter, uh, the voter fraud uh, 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 cloud, what happened with the Republicans and the Democrats in terms of counting ballots, right? He considered this the turning of America. He considered his first witness of turning America when he was a Vietnam uh, a United States Marine fought in Vietnam, came back home from uh, fighting two tours in Vietnam comes home gets egged at the airport people are throwing eggs at him call them people call them, uh, american soldiers baby killers because what happened in vietnam fighting socialism fighting communism and what he's witnessing right now in america according to his uh, 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 um, uh, uh, thoughts on the bet david uh, podcast he said this is now considered turning of america what is the incentive for work if more people are making more money staying at home what is the incentive for business to stay open to hire people that it can't hire because it can't fill people because they're willing to stay more at home than actually working for their money. What type of habits, what type of principles, what type of values is that actually casting for the rest of America? Number two, mom and pop shops, restaurants that you and I love to go to, gyms and fitness centers, retail spots are gonna be completely obliterated. We're just enjoying a cigar last night. Uh, we got uh, about 80 of our guys here in Dallas for a leadership retreat with some of our key people. And we're just thinking about right now what happens if we're shut down for four to six weeks that this cigar lunch we like to go to is no longer gonna be around here in Addison, Texas. That the restaurants you and I love to order on DoorDash aren't gonna be around because they can't afford to stay open. That uh, the supply chains, uh, we're, 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 we're creating um, some work inside our house uh, uh, th throughout this year. And even our contractor, because that's what you do as an entrepreneur, you create jobs, you create opportunities. So we create an opportunity for a contractor to come and do some work at our house. He was having a hard time even buying wood at Home Depot because supply chains, supply chains are disrupted. Sure, stores might be open, but the stores need to have products and goods to be sold at these stores. But if those companies cannot manufacture the products, can take the, the materials they need to create those products to put on store shelves, you got nothing to buy. So you got all this money, but nothing to buy. If the businesses don't stay open, so you're killing the generators throughout this pandemic, throughout this lockdown. And so right now, my thoughts is, if you're a business right now, if you, don't find a way to deliver your product or service online through e-commerce or, or, or finding ways to deliver your services or products to the marketplace, to not, not waiting for people to come to you, you got to go to them. Is it now time for you to increase prices because the cost for you to do business now is increased? Is it time for you to increase prices? What is the reaction now to your consumer? What is the reaction now to your customer? What is the reaction now to the, to the marketplace of which you provide that product and service? I don't know. I wouldn't imagine it would be positive because now that the cost for you to do business is higher, people probably don't like the fact that they have to pay more for that same meal, for the product, pay more for that same hammer that you're buying at the hardware store, to pay, pay more for the same cost of a roll of toilet paper. So these are the things that we have to factor in what's going on in our country right now. Number three, things I'll be thinking about. You immediately have to find a way to make money online. You immediately have to find a way to have a career in a business, in an industry that's not affected by the pandemic, that's not affected by this recession. If you have a bunch of stuff, look around. If you need to make some immediate cash instead of waiting for COVID-19 to help you out, instead of waiting for the government to help you out. If you got some stuff around the house, instead of you buying a new PlayStation 5, get rid of your PlayStation. But man, that's gonna affect me and my mental health if I um, if I have to be locked down for 46 weeks. I totally get it, I totally understand, but you need two, three, 400 bucks right now quickly to feed your family, go sell the daggone PlayStation. Forget getting a new PlayStation 5. Feed your damn family. 
Feed your people that you love and care about. Stop waiting on, on people, uh, on, on the government to give you money so therefore you can live on, to, so therefore you can continue living on your luxuries. Strip yourself of all that right now. If everybody's got to make adjustments, so do you. It's probably not comfortable, probably not easy for you to even listen to this. And I'll probably get some negative comments here, but you know, may, maybe that's a message that everybody here needs to hear. Get rid of the excess that you have in your life so therefore the rest of us don't have to pay for other people's mistakes. You have to find a business or a career you can do online, that you can do via Zoom, that you can sell using a virtual uh, a type environment for, for you to still get yeses and orders without having to be with people in person. So as I wrap up, guys, a couple of videos I would suggest you watch on our YouTube channel, Seven Figure Squad, is this video right here. Watch this video. How to use this pandemic lockdown to set up your next moves. Consider watching this video. Another video for you to watch too as well is how I made a lot of money during the last recession. Consider watching this because here's what I believe. I believe right now the seeds of greatness. I believe right now the tough leaders are being birthed right now. That pressure is causing you to make some adjustments. And, and, and by the way, this, this is a general principle. The World Health Organization recommended against lockdowns, not only for the economic impact, not only just for the economic impact, but from the health impact, from the mental health impact that people aren't regularly going seeing the doctors because uh, they're, 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 the, the, the hospitals are trying to focus everything on COVID-19 versus checkups and cancer screenings and all these different things that people normally do. It's, it's an impact on your health. At the same time with mental health, uh, a, a, lot, a lot more uh, uh, frustration happening at home because people aren't working. They have nothing to channel the energy and focus into. And now they're like having conflict in the house because they're locked down. It's not good. And the World Health Organization recommended against lockdowns so consider watching these two videos and if you're watching this on facebook uh if you haven't done so already please drop your comments in the section below if you're watching this on youtube please please drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below and if you haven't done so again subscribe to our youtube channel and subscribe uh to our, uh, our our facebook page make sure you click like mash that like button and follow our business page money smart guy and consider following our youtube channel the seven figure squad hit that subscribe button hit that notification button so therefore the next time we upload the next video you get alerted because this is this is a YouTube channel. This is a uh, this is a culture here we're creating. So therefore, you can start thinking like a millionaire. You can start strategizing like a millionaire. So therefore, you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire. Because I believe again that the seeds of grains are being birthed in this moment right now. That the future multimillionaires, the future decamillionaires, the future billionaires are being birthed in this very moment right now. There's been a lot of examples of business being started during very tough times. And guess what? Tough times create strong leaders. And if that's you, you want to be a strong leader in business, in your life, in your family, consider embracing these tough moments and making the best out of it. That being said, guys, I'm your money smart guy. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.